Hello there, kitty. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, I've got my spiffa outfit on. I just came from some uh, job application stuff. So today I'm going to talk to you about a couple uh, pieces I saw today, or not today, yesterday, at the museum at Cal State Long Beach with a good friend of mine. Shout out to you, Carmen. Uh, one called Blaze and the other called Red Emperor. So let's start off with Blaze. Blaze, well, looks like a blaze. <laughs> Except uh, it doesn't look like a blaze of fire as you would think. In fact, it kind of reminds me of a blaze of this. So the other one, Red Emperor, is, um, it's, what can I say, it's badass. It's just, um, uh, it's red. <laughs> There's red lines within that form boxes, and uh, it really doesn't look like a painting from afar. It almost looks like it could have been printed or designed on a computer, which adds to the to the more depth and the uh, the beauty of it. Aside from the fact that it actually was painted, so um, if you look really hard at it, you might find the answer to life, or hopefully. Um, now, for both of those, uh, they're very different paintings. Blaze is a blaze, and um, Red Emperor is very refined, I'd like to say, and the colors are soft. Even though it's red, it's still soft. Red, red being my favorite color, be a painting I'm attracted to. So uh, that's sort of the connection I see between those two is how different they are, um, and they're different. I want to say in similar ways. It's they're they're very uh, Blaze isn't really refined, but it's not it's not brutal looking put it that way. It's, um, it's very, uh, it's impressive, I want to put it. And, uh, where Red Emperor is more subtle, they're both of the same impressive nature, but, you know, it's up to you. That's just my weirdo opinion. So, uh, yeah, uh, next video will probably be, actually, my next video was going to be Mola as soon as I post that. So, yeah, check you later, guys. Thanks for listening. Peace.